Hey everyone! In my previous video about React slider that wraps around an input with a type range, I showed how to control it from Cypress if your React component is listening to on input event. So someone asked me about another slider that uses on change event. So in this video, I'll explain how to control an input component that uses on change handler. To process those events. So first let's see the test running and you will see that I'm loading demo qa.com and my spec. When it loads, it loads the slider and the slider is right here. And unfortunately this page is awful, right? Look at all this bad stuff. It's downloading until it's crashing in one of the scripts. So the first thing I want to do, I want to show you how to use block lists to remove all this extra stuff at the page loads. Look at the network of, well, let's look at all the resources. If we run the test, this page is downloading all sorts of ads, right? Um, like this thing, ads by Google from, you know, page syndication, right? So here's how you remove all this extra stuff. You go to your Cypress config and you say block host and you create a list. So this is one domain, a host name. What else? Bundle Google Tag Services. We don't need those. What else? Uh, Google.com. We, we, we don't need this capture here tag manager double click okay anything from third party that seems like it's an ad that will just slow us down we are removing ad service okay ad plus what what are those why do we need those just to load the slider page okay let's see if there is anything remaining well perfect Notice that we are not throwing any errors, loads much faster. The only remaining one is this URL. And all we need to do, we can use an intercept. So we can say sci intercept. And this is the same thing. Host name. And we'll just return an empty string. Okay, notice we're hitting it, no errors, nothing. Perfect, we're ready to test. Okay, we can confirm that it's 25. We trigger change. And notice that the value changes to 84, right? So it was 25. Or, and it actually moved, but it did not update this component because the event did not bubble up correctly. And it's a little bit tricky because in React, everything's tricky. But basically the problem is this invocation. React overrides the value method on an input component and it doesn't work the same way when you trigger it. So here's how we can trigger the native element value method. First we need to get it. So I say value setter and we can say object get on property descriptor. And here we can say HTML input element prototype and the descriptor is value and we are interested in the setter, right? So this input slider has a prototype HTML input element and we're getting the actual value setter method that is called whenever you say something like input, you know, value equals something. Okay. So now instead of using jQuery val that calls the overwritten, we can say then slider and we can say value setter call on this slider dom element and we can pass 84. Okay. Perfect. So now it triggered the actual event and it changed both things because it properly bubbled up and so the component has updated correctly. 
So this is how you deal with uh, input of type range if it registers for on change event and when you trigger change event.